Hey, we're at Western Iowa Tech here today in our uh, motorcycle lab, and what we're going to be working on fasteners is identifying uh, pipe thread st uh, style fasteners and the two different ways that we can uh, um, apply either a sealant or some way to prevent a leak. So the question was, is why would we use pipe thread? And what we notice on even the taps that will make the threads is that they're not straight, they're at a taper. So yesterday we practiced on regular uh, taps and dies and they were straight just like a fastener. We, we didn't have it where it was a smaller diameter here and a larger diameter here. So there's a couple of different things that we're going to do is I'm going to uh, go ahead and I'm going to model um, how to properly install this fitting into this air gun so that it could be used without having any leaks. And our two different choices on that is we could do a liquid style paste and what happens here is we're just going to take and smear this around and the excess will spill out and, and we want that. What we don't want is we don't want the sealant to get into the airline because what's going to happen once we go to use it? It's going to get clogged up. It, it's going to get clogged up. It's going to take the sealant. It's going to push it into whatever's in there. Well, on an air gun, it could, temple, it could uh, possibly get the trigger here to get sticky or cause a problem or have an obstruction. What if, if, what, if what we're sealing is on a motorcycle engine, though, and it's an oil line? Mm, that's go into channels. We could block the passages and have an even bigger problem. Make sense? So uh, on a real confidence level... I really like to use pipe dope, especially on oil lines and whatnot. I get it very external. It'll I put a lot on because as I thread it in, the taper is going to squeeze the excess out and not into what I'm doing. So I'm a fan of the pipe dope, but uh, most people are going to rely on this tape, if you will. I'm going to demonstrate how to use this. This is a Teflon tape. This Monster brand here, this Blue Monster, has been pretty cool. It's been really effective. And you might see this in white packages. You can get this in different uh, widths, as you can see here. So we're going to use the smaller width. And I'm going to show how to do this in a second. But back to the pipe fitting here. The other thing about this is depending on your shop, you're going to have different style fittings for the type of couplers that you're going to cu uh, couple with. Okay, so they have uh, different brands of those. This one here, if you bear with me a second... Uh, what we're using here is this uh, D style uh, fitting here. This doesn't matter. So if you get that, these have to match. So whatever type of couplers you have, have to have the right nipple so that they'll fit in there appropriately. Make sense? And sometimes you'll see this where they have a real long extension on there. I don't know what the, the rationale is behind the different ones, but we, you definitely need a mated fit. So you can kind of see here on this air regulator where we have another coupler. You can see the blue tape that's sticking out here. This excess, it won't hurt anything. There's not going to be any problems with that. The one thing that I want you guys to notice is that with all pipe fittings, uh, you will never get rid of all the threads. So as, and this is the big thing. This is where people get into trouble. So when we put a regular fastener and we tighten it down against something, we are going to have it where the threads with a washer under here, right, would actually bottom out completely and we lose all visibility. If you lose visibility of pipe thread, you've probably broken the, you, there's a potential you've broken the part that you've put it into, okay? Because what happens is you saw here that it's a taper. So as you thread something in, it creates a wedging effect. And what happens is as I try to thread into, as I try to thread into this, I'm going to wedge it in there so deep that I'm actually going to spread this out and widen it as a, a chance I could split this because when we're using pipe thread in our motorcycle engines, we're typically threading into aluminum. So is aluminum a soft metal? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Is this brass a soft metal? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. So my rule, of, uh, my rule of thought on this is that what I'll do is I'll have it to where there's a couple of exposed threads. I like how this one is here. And if, whether it's an oil fitting or no matter what the deal is. And then I will just... Uh, a lot of times I'll even have maybe three threads showing, four threads, and then I'll see if it leaks. If it leaks, what do I do? Tighten it up. Tighten it up a little bit more. Does that make sense? Here's another reason that I like the pipe dope, and I love this brand. Okay, so this paste here is meant for steam and high pressure. So it gives the specifications on the product here. I've just had absolutely amazing luck with this under extreme temperatures. I mean, hundreds of degrees. And higher pressure. So, with with knowing it works on that, is it going to work on our you know couple hundred degree engines? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. This is this yellow uh, brand of Harvey's is the pipe uh, dope to use. Okay. 
So let's let's focus more. I'm going to do a, a practice one here on this guy right here. So can can the video and can you guys see the taper on that? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I have clean threads. Yeah. I'm brand new and I have clean coupler. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so what's going to happen here is I you see how and you see how when I first put in how it's loose. Yeah. Okay, that's because of the pipe thread. And then when I get to a point here, it's going to tighten up. So I've got about three threads showing. Gives me an idea of when it gets tight. When I put the tape around there, it's going to get a lot tighter yet. And here's the whole key to the tape. When I put the tape on, there's a little trick to this. Is we've got to think about the fact that I'm going to. These are uh, these are almost always just a standard. Uh, Lefty loosey, righty tighty thread pattern, okay? So as I put this in, I've got to think about the fact that what's going to happen is I'm basically folding this tape around. Do you see what I'm doing with my thumb, how I'm supporting it? Yeah. If I put a whole bunch of tape around this, I'm going to make it where it'll be able to go in there, but it doesn't really have, it's it's really relying on the pipe thread to, t to create the, the tightness of it versus the threads gripping the actual internal threads of the fastener. Does that make sense? So I really only want as much as I need to have this be able to squish down in between the threads to create a sealant. That's why this is so nice is because you can't put too much on. I don't care how much of this you put on, the metal is stronger than the liquid and it'll push the liquid out. You can put too much tape on to where it won't allow you to thread it in. If I wrapped around this, I'm going to do this on, you know, on purpose. I'm going to put a whole bunch on here. If I made this really thick like this, I'm probably only going to be able to get a couple of threads started. Do you remember how before I was able to get down to just three? I've got way too much tape on there. The other thing about this, you can kind of see how I'm supporting the pipe thread and holding this. The other thing about this is I have to be intentional in what direction I wrap it. So what I did is I wrapped this around to where I call this the tail. Okay, so the tail of the tape is going to be opposite the direction of tightening. Okay, now watch what's going to happen. So I'm just going to go ahead and simply pull this off. It's going to leave some excess on here. And the whole reason for doing it the way that I said is now when I thread this in here, do you see how it actually self-tightens the tape? Yeah. yeah. Okay, let me do it wrong to show, uh, show what would happen. If I do it the opposite direction... It wants to do what? Anybody know? Come up. Bind up. It wants to unroll it. So, and I have a hard time doing this. I'm being left-handed here. So, I'm going to go here. I'm going to go like this. Like so. And now you can see here that I have this loose end or the tail side on here. Okay? That when I thread it in there, it's actually wanting to, to peel it out. Would it probably seal? Probably. But is there a better way to do things? Yeah. There is. So however you want to do it, you can call it the tail. You guys are going to go ahead and you're going to uh, practice this yourself. Can you see how it unthreaded right there? Yeah. I, I, was, was, I was doing it by hand. I wasn't trying to make that happen, but it did unthread itself pretty good. Now, I bet you could probably get the seal, but it's just not right. The other thing for us that we have to remember is we're always thinking about cosmetic value. If my customer is going to see a bunch of pipe dope squeezed all over the place and looking like crap, do you think there's a potential they might complain? Yeah. The excess pipe dope, do not get in there and scrub it all off, but you can take and basically smear it like you would silicone, create a nice equal ring around your oil pressure switches or whatnot. It'll look cosmetically pleasing and, and everybody's good. So that's my preference. With the, the pipe dope, one other concern before you guys practice this yourself, let me see if you think this is a problem. I'm going to actually intend, intend to do this the right way, and I'm going to start on the bottom of the threads here. Oh, yeah, because you're going over the threads before you can even get it started. Am I creating an obstruction? Yes. Is yeah. there a chance that, that you could nick that or tear that on this sharp edge, and now you're going to take this Teflon and push it into the, into the fitting? Yep. And, uh, geez, you know, it's escaping me now which way, but I'm almost positive that nitrous... We do a lot of pipe threading in nitrous applications, and they do not allow Teflon tape, I think is what the deal is on that. So you have to be extremely cautious not to get the pipe dope in, but I, I, I might have that even backwards, but I know it's one or the other that they're very particular. I think we could get into trouble with either one of them, right? Yeah, yeah. From what I demonstrated, why don't I demonstrate what I would do with the pipe dope too? So if you'll take a look at this, does that look like a lot? Yeah. It looks like a real excessive, okay? Listen to me on this. Don't touch it. 
Okay, grab it from here, go together. If I do this, I've just reduced my ability to allow it to squeeze in there like I need to and then work its way out. Okay, I was taught this in a packing house where we did a ton of pipe fittings for gas lines. And uh, the, the boss man, the foreman, would always come over and go, dang it, just put a bunch on there and let it squeeze out. It's like you would have leak after leak after leak if you tried to make it pretty before you tried to put those two together. Okay, so that's, a, that's an introduction into pipe thread. Uh, one other thing I'll talk about that gets to be uh, confusing as well is so within our, our snap-on kit here, we just got two of the eighth inch uh, pipe fittings and you'll notice here that they have different threads per inch. So we've talked about what we have here. We have an eighth inch and we got a 27 NTP. That's, uh, what's the N stand for? Numeral pipe thread. I don't, I don't, I'm not 100% sure on the N. It's, it's something pipe thread. I need to look that up myself. I've, I've got something. And then we have a 26 and a 27. Which one do you use? Any ideas? We have one that's more popular in the U.S., but check out what I'm going to do that's going to uh, make sense here. I'm going to take this pipe thread, and I, if I had the appropriate size eighth-inch fitting, I could use this. I'd take both of them and use it as a thread pitch gauge. Ooh. Pretty cool? Yeah. And I don't have it memorized which one. You could see somebody's used both of these. National pipe thread. National pipe thread. Thank you. Good job. Thanks, Tony. 